Good morning, happy travelers. Greetings from Los Angeles International Airport. We are heading to Hawaii today. We're flying to Oahu. We're gonna be staying in the Waikiki area of Honolulu for five days and I'm so excited. And we're just sitting here at our gate waiting for our flight. As you know, we fly standby, so hopefully we get on this one. Excuse me, sir, have you had enough coffee yet? No, more, <laughs> more coffee. <laughs> I'm a morning person, he's not. So pro tip, I always talk about getting treats for your flight attendants, which I have gotten, but I bought them at the airport and they're very expensive. So you should probably buy them before you get to the airport. It'll be a lot cheaper. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Ooh, extra comfort. Yeah, it's good, I like it. days that was fairly easy just one flight we made it and we're here we even got on the first flight so we have to get our one checked bag and then we have to get a lift or a taxi or something into the city so we are extremely privileged in that we have been to Hawaii quite a few times. We made it our goal when I got the flight attendant job that we were gonna come at least once a year. We haven't actually ever been to one of the islands without renting a car at the airport. So this is the first time we're doing that. We'll probably still rent a car in the city for a couple of days so we can go around the island, but it was just really expensive to rent it for the entire time we're gonna be here, the whole five days. And we'd have to pay for parking, so we're gonna cut costs by only doing it for a couple of days. Okay, now that we have our bags, it's time to get to Waikiki. There's a few different options of how you can get from the airport to Waikiki Beach. The first is to take a taxi, which is about 40 to $45 without traffic. The second is a pre-arranged shuttle that you have to book at least one day in advance. That costs about $17 a person. They charge a little extra for additional bags and things like that. We always fly standby, so we didn't go that route, but it turns out that a lift right now only costs about 26 bucks. So that's what we're gonna go for. But we have to figure out where Lyft picks up the airports, which is always kind of tricky. Found the rideshare pickup. We're taking a Lyft, it's gonna be $23. I actually booked the Lyft right from the Hilton app, which is really convenient because I didn't even have to put in the address or anything. It's just gonna take us right there. We made it to our resort. We're staying at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. If you guys know, we love Hilton Resorts, so we use some points to get five nights here. It's about 10.45 in the morning, so they are not doing check-ins just yet. Sometimes when we show up early, we get lucky and they check us in, but not today. So we're gonna store our luggage and get some coffee because we woke up so early today. And maybe grab a bite or wait by the pool and figure out something to do while we wait to check in. First things first, we're getting some coffee. There are a couple of Starbucks on the property or campus, I guess. But there's also this place called Lappert's, which we figured was maybe a little more local, even though I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up at Starbucks at some point during this trip. The local first. <laughs> something shiny. It seems like every time that we travel, we get very little sleep the night before, and this trip was far for the course. We probably got three hours of sleep last night, coupled with a 3.30 a.m. wake up. So it's close to noon now, but I feel like it's way, way later. Successfully checked in. We just had to wait till about 12.30, which is the official check-in time, so we only waited about an hour. Actually, I actually think the official check-in time is like three or four. But we decided to get into line early and luckily we were the first in line so we didn't have to wait long. But the general check-in line is super long now. It's 
probably at least like 70 people deep. Yeah. But that's not even the same line as the regular Hilton Honors status line. So if you just sign up and you're the lowest Hilton Honors member, you get into a different line than this crazy general check-in line. I'm a big fan of just signing up for the rewards program of whatever travel thing you're using, rental cars, hotels, whatever, because a lot of times there's like a separate check-in area or a separate line for you and it yep. can end up saving a bunch of time in the end. It's completely free. I think all you need to do is put it in your email so it doesn't cost you anything and you save a lot of time to check in. Pro tip. Now let's go to our room. We have just gotten to our room. We are staying in the Rainbow Tower here at the Hilton Waikiki Resort. This room is on the 22nd floor and it is categorized as a ocean and lagoon view room. Let's give you a quick tour. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a little bit of an upgrade. I didn't book a room with a view, so that's really nice, but it's pretty much just a standard room. I booked the lowest one possible that I could with our points. This has a king size bed. I would say it's pretty roomy for a standard hotel room. The furniture is a little bit dated, but it's, it's nice and clean and awesome and I'll take it. Over here, you've got a little coffee bar, ice bucket, kind of basic stuff. Down here, there's a little refrigerator, which is nice. Pretty basic closet, ironing board, iron, extra pillow, safe, into the bathroom. A little on the smaller side, but everything that we need, no complaints. Nice big king size bed. As I sit on my water bottle, whoops. Big TV. We stayed in a Hawaiian Hilton property before and it had a PlayStation in there too. So I think this is how they do the DVDs and all that stuff. I think you can even rent a couple games for the PlayStation. I'm not sure what model PlayStation it is. So there's some like streaming stuff, you know what I mean. No, you do rent DVDs here. They give us a card to rent DVDs. Oh, you actually rent DVDs? Yeah, I was like making they, it a they joke. give you a DVD? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like streaming, but I guess they give you DVDs, which makes sense. You play them in here. So there you go. Little desk, phone, nightstand, big awesome balcony here with a view of the lagoon and the marina. Very nice. See the ocean, a couple surfers out there. This will do nicely. There's even a paraglider out there too. I want to do that. Yeah, pretty sweet. We have spent some time in the room just getting settled, but we got pretty hungry and it's like two o'clock now. So I think we're gonna head out and get some food. Our body time's all messed up because of the time change. Yeah. So this is a really big resort and we're still kind of getting oriented to it. So for lunch, we're just gonna stay on property and uh, check out one of the other pools because I think there's like four, which is a lot. So we've made our way over to the tapas bar just to get a quick bite to eat. We're gonna do a full resort tour in our next video. So stay tuned for that. For right now, we're just kind of getting the lay of the land and trying to not get too lost in this huge resort. It's fat free, right? <laughs> so as of right now for diamond status, they're not doing the free breakfast for domestic US Hiltons. What they're doing is a food credit instead. So you can use it for drinks or lunch or whatever you want at the resort. And at this resort in particular, it's $18 per person per day. We're getting $36 of credit per day that we're here, which is part of the reason why we just ate our lunch at a resort restaurant. It's probably time for some relaxation. We spent a while relaxing by the pool and ended up just walking down Waikiki Beach for a little bit to pick up some dinner. 
We have some delicious looking poke bowls that we're about to dive into. And I think we're just gonna call it an early night, just kind of hit the hay early. Yeah, since we barely got any sleep last night and it's getting late at home, we're getting pretty tired. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have an awesome couple of days planned in Hawaii and tomorrow we're gonna be doing a full tour of this super huge resort. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching everyone. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Comfy travel dress for the win. Dang, our ride's leaving without us. Ready? Okay. So we have about an hour to kill before we're allowed to check in. Found a nice spot in the shade. Not too bad. <laughs> I guess the caffeine hasn't kicked in no, yet for this guy. Not at all, but... <laughs> Riveting conversation, Kev. <laughs>